All right, so now we have seen how to handle uh, an integral which is improper because something is wrong at one of the two limits. But what if the problem is in between the limits? Okay, so let's say that we have a function which is continuous all the way from A to B. Uh, a and B are both numbers, and the function is continuous all the way from A to B, except at some point in between. Okay, so here is an example. So we have a function that looks like this. So this function is still binding, bounding a finite region, or maybe finite, the right-hand side looks finite, the left-hand side, we're not sure. But the problem is, you know, can we compute that region, the, the area of that region? Is it even finite? What can we say about it? Well, how are we going to handle that situation? Well, we're going to make the problem simple, but by defining the integral from a to b of f of x dx simply as the limit uh, we're going to split that integral into two pieces, right? So first we're going to compute the integral from a to c as a limit, as an improper integral, and then the integral from c to b as another limit. Okay? So in this case we would consider the limit, for, uh, the integral from 0 to 1 plus the integral from 1 to 2. They're both improper, so we're going to compute each of them as a limit. Now notice that in this definition those two limits are done separately. Okay, so you don't want to approach that uh, value, that point of discontinuity C from both sides simultaneously. You want to look at the left hand side and the right hand side. The reason for that is it should be quite clear from the picture, uh, and that is that in this picture, for instance, on the right hand side, it's clear that the limit must exist. The left hand side is not quite clear what we're going to have, and therefore we have to look at each of the two sections separately. What about the general case? What if we have problems with an integral both at the limits and in, inside the two or between the two limits? Okay. Well, again, we're going to basically just generalize what we have said in the previous situation as follows. Let's say that we have a function that is continuous on a closed interval from A to B except possibly for finitely many points. So we don't want infinitely many problems. Okay, We just want finitely many. 1, 2, 3, 4, n. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of these uh, values where uh, we may probably have, uh, possibly have some difficulties, either because the function is discontinuous or maybe because a or b are infinite. So what we're going to do in this situation is we're going to use the additive property of integrals, and we're going to say, all right, the integral from a to b is going to be obtained as the integral from a to c1 plus the integral from c1 to c2 plus the integral from c2 to c3, etc., etc., all the way up to the last point. So we're going to break it up into small pieces, small integral, but in a very important way, and it is that each of these integrals must have a single reason for being improper, Okay, one impropriety, if that's a word. Okay. Not only that, but we want that reason for being improper to be at one limit. So for each one of those integrals, uh, the, the, the problem should not occur inside, in between the, integral, the two limits, but at one of the limits. The reason for that is obvious. Uh, the situation where the discontinuity was in the middle was itself handled by splitting the integral, so we might as well do that. Now. Uh, once we've done this, once we've uh, split our integral into all of these pieces, each of which only has one problem at one limit, then we're going to say that the integral is convergent if and only if, and here the situation, the, the requirement is quite stringent, we need each and every one of the smaller integrals to be convergent. Okay? So what we must check is that each and every one of those integrals is convergent if it is, then the value of the integral is going to be equal to the sum of the values of all the integrals. However, if one only of those integrals does not converge, we're going to have to say that the whole integral does not converge. It has a problem, it's, it has an unsurmountable problem, and we just have to live with that.